Hey Pisces, welcome to your July 2019 Who's My Future Partner reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Care. Welcome back. So thank you for being so patient. You're the last on the list for July, but I'm getting these readings out early. Like I told all the other signs moving forward, I'm just going to upload them as they're completed. So uh, to keep it fair, you guys will be next. You'll be first for August. So I'm just kind of going to rotate the cycle um, in that manner just to keep it fair to everybody. So thank you for being patient. If you've been cross watching, waiting for your own sign, here it is. Uh, let's jump right in and get going. Make sure if you are new to subscribe, so you are notified when I up load the readings because now it's not going to be a set schedule anymore. I used to do like all 12 at one time per month and it's just too much. I actually like this flowing feeling of just getting them done for the following month. Um, about two weeks before I'm going to start, yeah, tapping into that energy and bringing you your readings. All right. All right, Pisces, what do we got for you for July? Mm. Devil. Ooh, love. Okay. It's interesting. Whoa. This is kind of interesting. So whew, there's going to be some issues. Um, challenges, conflicts, struggles, arguments. Maybe some petty misunderstandings. Maybe some jealousy. There's definitely a new partner coming in, but I don't know if they've really put these wands down yet. Now, they could be a fire sign or they could be um, Aquarius here as well because we got the star card. Oh, underneath the deck, the seven of swords. Ugh. All right, Pisces, who is this person and what is going on? Um, it's not a solid new beginning, that's for sure. And I think it's because somebody's not being completely honest with you. Um, but what's really kind of ironic is that there's love, there is true love here, but maybe this person is dealing with some, hmm, a couple of different things. It could be addictions, maybe ending a former relationship I feel is coming in. They're not being honest with you at the gate, and I don't like that. Um, although, eek, you know, there is... The potential of true love here. It's kind of ironic. It's just not going to get off on the right foot. What is your oracle card? Let's take a look here. Oh, go the distance. Okay, that makes sense. So I think um, maybe the timing is not right. Okay, Neptune is retrograde. Pisces, right? Our ruler. Um, it's in Pisces right now. Maybe there's a fog over this situation. Maybe there's not real clarity. Maybe this person um, is is ending relationships and, and it's you guys meet through this <clears throat> King of Cups. Okay, this could be another Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer person significant in your life. They could be older. They could be an aunt, an aunt, an uncle, a brother, a father, somebody that's older somehow some way introduces you to this person um it could be a business leader or in the law um uh industry you know in in um oh what's the word i'm looking for the judicial system hello um but this person is hiding something from you as well with the devil card here mm-hmm something's not right behind the scenes, okay? So heads up about this one, because this could be a little wonky. You could be really excited about this relationship, but you know, like when you get those vibes, you know something's not right, you know? Um, you could be very well aware of what's going on, that there is a third party or an ex, or the you know maybe this person is still married. There's just something... Um, a little off here, they could be, this could be a strong sexual attraction and not necessarily love, or you have an affair with somebody or something like that. Um, so again, you know, it's not starting off on the right foot, but it's not to say, wow, that mm -hmm, it's not the real deal. 
Is that Ace of Cups? This is confirmation of a new beginning in love. This is what kind of relationship will this be? This is like the ultimate partner. This is, um, yeah, blessings from heaven, in love, expressing love. So with going the distance, I would say <laughs> that whatever they're going through, they need to put these wands down. They need, let them finish up what they need to do. Um, and if you suspect there's something going on behind your back, stand your ground, Pisces. Don't let anybody use you or walk all over you. Um, there is hope for the future here, but you certainly don't deserve to be lied to out of the gate or mistreated. I don't, I don't like this. And you know you're going to engage, right? But we can bypass this drama. Mm-hmm. You know, but at least knowing the truth, knowing something that's uh, just not right, following your own gut intuition here. Um, because with the devil card, this is how they will affect you. So you're going to feel this blockage. You're not stupid. You're going to know like, okay, something's not right. I'm feeling super vulnerable. There's something negative going on. Um, and restrictions. And a lot of this, you could be in your head as well, but legitimately don't, you know, feel like you're going crazy. No, there's something not right. Um, addictions could be a third party. They could not really officially have ended. Um, maybe they have a lot of other obligations, maybe another relationship here. This is a 10. Tens are endings, which which is great, right? This person has carried a heavy load. They could be, by the way, a fire sign. Did I mention that? Yeah, or air or Aquarius. Um, so they're not quite done, right? They're stuck at this 10. The 10 reduces to a 1 and so it's supposed to be like a brand new beginning. But they haven't quite cleaned house yet. They haven't quite got home to take care of business, put the wands down. They're, they may be just telling a little fib, um, like, oh yeah, um, um, separated, um, and, or I'm divorced and they're really not. There's just, there's just something going on here, Pisces. So you're all gaga over here. You know, you see them as the star card, you know, that, wow, this is, um, hopeful. This is, this is a great person. This is somebody that I'm meant to meet. And this is my wish card. So it's like, if you've been wishing and hoping for a relationship, it's coming, but it might not be exactly, uh, who you think this person is. So don't be blindsided because that's the other meaning here of the seven of swords, a deception, betrayal, not an honest situation, risky energy. Um, and it simply could mean that the partner that you're interested in is not quite what they seem because mm -hmm, they're not. So I don't want you to get burnt. I don't want you to get hurt here, Pisces. Just FYI, okay? Um, you know, just be on your toes. Don't get too sucked in. Um, and I know it's going to be hard for you. I'm going to say that right now because there is true love here. This is a new beginning in real love. I'm just blown away by that. I mean, it's really crazy. Um, but it's not getting off on the right foot. This is not a solid new beginning. This is your obstacle. Okay. And it's going to be a slow go. And there's going to be fighting if you allow it. Because you're going to sense that something's not right. So don't think you're going crazy. You are absolutely correct. Um, but ironically, if you keep an open mind, okay, maybe you're pushing the person, you know, and they're, they're lying because they haven't quite completed whatever it is they need to take care of in their lives, right? And... <clears throat> You're just like, let's go, let's go, let's go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, And I can understand that if there's emotional feelings here um, and this, these feelings of love, with, without a doubt, you are going to be feeling here. Um, 
but this is calling in time to find a harmony within the relationship and it's 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 going to be the long term this is being in it for the long haul and you're going to have to ride the ups and downs so maybe this person is being honest with you but you are pushing um, like for instance you know that they're still married for example and you just want to move forward with the relationship and they can't uh, so it can't be completely negative but mm, you got the devil and the seven of swords too so that's my only concern here you know that uh, somebody's not being completely honest with you so just know that there is love here for you but it's going to take time Okay. So, and, and, and knowing that there's going to be ups and downs within this particular scenario. Okay. Cause this person has to take care of business. Got the devil card here. It's going to be like, in other words, you have to be in it for the long haul, baby. Like you're going to have to go and manage your time well enough with this person until you guys can really be together. Let's just put it to you that way. Okay. Cause there is love here. This is the potential of love. It's just a lot of BS here going on, uh, initially here in the month of July and July, the six planets retrograde, right? Um, uh, we got a full moon, I'm sorry, a total, uh, solar eclipse new moon on July 2nd in cancer. We're starting eclipse season. So, you know, don't force, you know, force or push the situation. You aren't going to end up, you know, going fist to cuffs here, you know. Um, so watch your communication. Know you're going to have to go the long haul. Know that maybe there's just some things that are being hidden from you right now. Um, some sneaky shit maybe behind your back. Now, what else is coming through in the devil here? That's my Capricorn card. Um, this is about victim mentality. Maybe you're going to feel very like codependent on this person. Um, you know, and like I was saying earlier, maybe demanding on their time and they're not really available yet. Okay. This could be even self-sabotage as well. Restrictions, blockages, overcoming any kind of negative thinking. Which got some challenges here with this particular re relationship. Without a doubt. But, you know, I feel like there's some astrological alignments here that are definitely coming into play, Pisces, that are going to help you kind of cope and maybe deal with moving forward in love and being able to start this new beginning in time. It's not going to happen. Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay, it's, it's definitely going to be a while before... Mm-hmm. Yeah, anything's going to manifest in a way that is going to be a commitment. The love is there, so that's good news, you know. Um, this is endurance, strength, going going for it, being in it for the long haul. Let's pull your Romance Angel card. This one's kind of weird, huh? This is different. Um, somebody needs to hear it. Check out your Moon Arising, guys, if, uh, yeah, this doesn't resonate for you. Don't just bounce. Um, especially with these single readings, you definitely need to, uh, mm -hmm. even check out your Venus sign. Let's see what we got for you. Pisces, 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 July, 2019. What is the love message for Pisces? Additional information here, please. I don't like that seven of swords. Yuck. But... There's love here, though, without a doubt. Yeah, I would just play your cards right and just back off, let them do what they need to do, understand what's going on, that there's something not right. Maybe they need to deal with what they need to deal with. Finances and career. Okay, finance, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, so... Um, yeah, there could be some financial burdens here, like, right, because we have uh, the Ace of Coins as your obstacle, so money could play a role in, in the situation here, absolutely. Um, 
being able to make that commitment to you because they have other financial obligations. Um, what's at the bottom of the deck? This could be the one. Yeah, you've already met the rom more romantic partner that you seek. Well, that goes without a doubt, quite honestly. But there's going to be some challenges here. Um, absolutely without a doubt, Pisces. So um, this is the one for you. Okay. Um, but you're going to have to kind of keep it together. Understand the situation. Um, maybe, maybe you don't know that it's financial. But now you will. And maybe that might, you know, bring in the element here of, you know, more patience, maybe contributing. If you two want to be together, uh, you're going to get it figured out. You're going to figure out the finances. They could. Um, and I was picking up on this, this King of Cups earlier. Remember when I was saying something about a, a lawyer or a judge or there's something here that um, could indicate that they're dealing with legal financial issues as well. Okay could even pertain to their career. You know, there's there's something here, could even be drugs or alcohol. Um, maybe they've been in trouble with the law. I mean, you just, there's definitely some extenuating circumstances that mm -hmm, maybe they don't want you to know, okay? Uh, going beyond just how they feel about you. Maybe they're obviously, you know, crazy about you, but it doesn't have to be like a third party, like, they're, you know, getting divorced or I'm picking up here on maybe even some legalities, like I said. So, yeah, I'm not going to beat it to death, guys. Uh, that's what I'm picking up on. We're going to leave it at that for July. Would love for you guys to leave a comment below. Let me know how you like the reading this month. And I appreciate all your comments and make sure you check out also I'm offering 2020 Decade Ahead, Decade Ahead readings. It's a year ahead tower reading, but I'm also including for free where you're going to be on your path in the next 10 years and what what is the best, you know, path for you to focus on in, in your life. So God bless you, Pisces. All the best. And we'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.